Today we're going behind the scenes. My friend Rachel's helping me shoot a photo shoot for an upcoming podcast Scotty and I are planning. And we are also gonna go to one of my favorite places downtown Toronto, it's called Fitzroy Rentals, where you can rent these beautiful dresses. I also have to pick up a couple things at the mall, so I thought this would be a really fun day to kind of just like follow along, come along with me, kind of see like how that creation process happens. And yeah, so we gotta go because the time is ticking. The rental's from two to four and it's at this really cool place, um, a studio that I rented downtown. So I'll show you that and I'll kind of talk you through the process as well of renting studios and how to do that and how to make that happen if that's something you guys wanna do. Let's do it. I packed all my stuff. I have like makeup, some props, extra clothes, all in there. So I am 100% that person who like always comes up with these ideas and these things that I want to execute, but I never give myself enough time. So I actually have this one idea where um, I'll be showing it to you on my Instagram. And if it's posted already, I'll post it up right here. But it's basically with a VHS tape. And remember like old school renting videos and on all of them, it would say, be kind, please rewind. I wanted to create this one photo where I like rip out the VHS part, like RIP to whatever VHS it is. I'm just going to go to Valley Village and um, it's going to say, be kind, please unwind. And that is some of the top, top tail content. Don't know what that means. Um, you can get on my, on my IG. So I'm going to post that here, I think. I try to hide. All right, so. Right? Okay, let's get this focus going. This is Ray. See me helping you in my shoot today. So we only showed you like the smallest little bit because we only had a little bit of time, but Ray is a superstar. If you're looking for a mini session, Hamilton Burlington area, this gal, <laughs> she'll hook you up. And when you come to a studio too, like Ray and I were shooting the other day downtown Hamilton. I'll show you a little tiny clip here because we were being ridiculous. Like we were, she was like, would you mind going on the top of that freaking pay meter? for parking and I was like, yeah, for sure. And it was for Valentine's Day and people were thinking that we were crazy, but you know what, it was great. But being down in a studio, highly recommend because then you can like change, you can go to the bathroom, there's tons of props and things, and then Ray is less stressed. Bye beautiful studio. Bye. First of all, this filter's ridiculous. Second of all, just a second ago I had lipstick, literally all over my teeth and I just went and picked up a coffee and I talked to three, if not four, people. Please be the person that tells someone when they look absolutely ridiculous. I feel like that's me right now with this filter on, but I love it. Hello. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so I was just driving home from the studio. I dropped off those dresses. That was the benefit as well. Just picking them up and then dropping them right back off. Um, I don't know if I explained Fitzroy Studio super well to you guys. I'm gonna do that when I get home, just because I feel like we'll have better audio and all that. But I just stopped off at the mall. There's a couple things that I want to look into. I know low by year, but they could follow the rules and then as well to help make, make a video. It's like five, what is it? It's 
5.20 right now. So, um, I mean, it's rush hour anyways. And yeah, so just gonna kind of walk around for a little bit. I'm not gonna take you guys with me. That could be awkward in the mall. But if I do end up getting anything, that will be popped in my video of what I bought this month. So I will see you guys very soon. We'll probably be home by the time we catch up again. Hello, pals. So as promised, here I am back at home. I had quite a few emails to answer, so I did not catch you up right when I got home. Did that, did a couple of designs, just got a text if you heard that. <laughs> Uh, you know when you just start opening your emails and you're just like ah, I wish I did not um, so yeah so doing that it's like 8 20 ish so I have a couple of things to unpack I did end up getting a couple of things from the mall so that attend those text messages that are coming in that you can probably hear in the background and then I kind of want to do a little bit of organizing and then I'm gonna sit down and chat with you pals just about today and some thoughts and features. I am currently, there is all my items I need to put away. Currently just watching Alana's video. I also just re-picked up this product. It really wants to focus in on Alana's face. One second. Um, that was just in my empties video and I use this a lot on the ends of my hair after coming out of the shower. So highly recommend that one and I originally picked that up in Prague if you watched that video you would have heard so I'm really happy to have that back because I feel like I am not doing my hair as a service if I come out of the shower and put heat on it and don't have that protectant on it so happy about that get organized then catch up with you guys Sometimes I don't think that this thing knows that I have a face. Let's do it. Thank you so much for your patience throughout the day today. I thought that it was just going to be like a fun day to capture on camera because today is one of those days where it's like when you're not working for someone else, please just work for yourself. And so I was like, I want to be able to take you guys along, basically show you like a couple of things, things that I do on days that I'm not working. So today was all about creating content for an upcoming podcast that I'm going to be launching. And I'm so excited for that. Rachel, who we just lovingly call Ray, um, she has been along this journey when it comes to like learning photography, taking photography. Scott and I were two of her first subjects when it came to couples photography, which is cool. And she is just like blown up. Like she is so good. And then another place that I'm so thrilled that I got some shots in today and the ladies there were phenomenal as well was Fitzroy Rentals, Fitzroy Studios. Like such a cool spot. So, Downtown Toronto, we have this place called Fitzroy Rentals and basically what you can do like I was showing you guys is you can go in and you can pick a dress or an outfit and just rent it for the night and I love that because environmentally like that person inside of me is like this is so perfect because when was the last time you honestly rented a dress or no bought a dress for like a wedding or an event or something like that and you took such a cute photo in it you posted it and you were like this dress was so extra I just cannot wear this again so in keeping with the low buy year that really helped with taking the shots today and then just kind of making them fun and fancy and a little bit extra so that was really cool and then today as well I wanted to start the morning off a little slower, so I got up, had breakfast with Scotty, like before even saying hello to you guys, had a tea, gonna turn the sound off on my phone, perfect. And um, it was just really nice, but I didn't give myself a lot of time to get downtown, so I ended up going to Value Village first, picking up some props, then going downtown immediately, like didn't eat when I said I had breakfast, really just Scott did. And then went straight to the shoot after picking up those dresses and then all the way back, I actually dropped them back off at the dress rental place and then came home. 
And then because I was stuck in rush hour traffic anyways, I just decided to stop off at the mall and I ended up getting this sweater, which I will be showing you guys in my what I bought this month because of doing the low buy, I'm trying to stay as accountable as possible when it comes to purchases. But it was just really nice like to take a little bit of time to myself, like by myself. But one thing that I found is like, that used to be my outlet, is going to the mall by myself, walking around, listening to a podcast, listening to songs. So tonight, I'm glad that I got an opportunity to do that, but I noticed myself getting a little bit antsier. Like I was so ready to leave sooner than before. Like before I would have wanted to go through every store and just wander around and look at things and touch new clothing and stuff. When I was little, I used to, this used to be my thing, I used to like go and touch clothing on clothing racks and I would dream that whatever I touched, I would get to take home. So I'd be very selective on what I touch and I feel like I still do that. <laughs> but today I was having that urge that I really wanted to leave and come home because I wanted to do some organizing. I have some plans for upcoming videos that I wanna start really setting out and actually going to the mall was helpful in planning those out. And I'm really excited for those. So sorry to like tease you and be so vague about it, but I am really excited for those. And coming home, just reflecting on the day, it's so weird, but I'm like extremely proud of the day. Like choosing to create your own content, choosing to rent out that studio, making the moves, making the decisions, and then coming back to the life mantra that I've been living for a really long time, that is make your own momentum. And with this podcast, it's been a lot of learning so far and really wanting to do it right. Like wanting to get the branding down, wanting to get the colors, wanting to get the purpose. Scott and I last night, whenever I am doing something creative, there is definitely something hormonal released in this when you're talking about something creative or you're like, your passion is set on fire because I was so sleepy last night. It ended up being so late when we went to bed because we were just hanging out. And then he asked me a question about the purpose of the podcast and just like a one liner and like figuring out the exact purpose. And from being so sleepy, I was just like, Whoa! like I was so, so, so awake after that. And my mind was just spinning with all of these ideas. And I'm just really excited about it. And I'm excited that um, I've been able to release more videos here on YouTube and doing my research a little bit more with, you know, what you guys want to see and, and what I want to create and how to make it authentic as possible. That's been really cool. So all in all, today was basically a make your own momentum day. And I am so thrilled that I got to have those shots, reintroduce you to Ray, show you Fitzroy Rentals, and know that none of it was sponsored or anything like that. It was just basically like brought to you by life happening and just going for it. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day too. I don't know why, I just feel like I just really wanted to have a little bit more of a personal one-on-one -on -one video today and then readdress the make your own momentum story, which will be a uh, part of the podcast for sure. And just so you guys have a little bit of a tease of what it is going to be called, it's called the We Did It Podcast. So We Did It is uh, the name. And I'll have the total reasoning about why it's called that and everything like that. And it's planning to be released by March. So with that being said, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog um, I bought a few things from the mall. I'm excited to show you those in a separate video. And yeah, so that should be coming up very soon. I'm going to start nailing down some dates for the channel as well so you guys know when to expect content because that kind of makes it easier for viewing and planning and, and chatting and catching up together. Um, and yeah, so I love you guys and we'll see you in my next one. I have some things to go film right now. So we will see you in my next one. Bye.